Hey guys, Terry White here with another Did You Know? And again, we're in Adobe Express, express.adobe.com. So, did you know that if you are a Creative Cloud member, you get to access Adobe Express at no additional cost. And as a Creative Cloud member, paying member, you get to create your own brands. That's right. These are stylized brands that you can use for any of the content you create on Adobe Express. So once I cl click Create Brand, I've got two brands already, my uh, Terry White brand and my Adobe brand. I'm going to create a brand new one just for you. So let's go ahead and create brand, and it's going to ask me for three things. It's going to ask me for my logo, my favorite colors for my brand, and uh, my favorite font for the brand. Now, I was only going to ask you for one of each, but you can always add more. If you want more logos, more colors, or more fonts, you can. So let's go ahead and upload the logo first. And I'm going to go ahead and choose um, in my brand folder here. I've got my, uh, my transparent logo, meaning it's a ping file. That means it can be transparent and put on top of other, other things. If you use a JPEG or a format like that, it's probably going to have a white background. So just remember ping.png is transparent. Next up, I'm going to pick a color. And you can, you, know, you can use a color, just any color on a spectrum. But you can also put in the hex value for that color so you get the exact color you want. And I've got that hex value right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And then uh, paste it in so I get the exact purple that I want. Great. So now I've saved my first color, my first logo. And now I'm going to go ahead and choose a font. Now you can choose one of the built-in fonts to use. Or you can even upload your own. And they don't even have to be Adobe fonts. So I like uh, tr uh, Trojan Pro. I'm going to go ahead and use the Trojan Pro Bold as my main font to start with. And let's go ahead. It's just making sure, hey, we're going to be converting your font, you know, um, make sure you have the legal rights to that. And I'm going to go ahead and just check the box and say yes. And now my font is uploaded and in place. And this kind of gives me a preview of what my brand might look like as I create social content here in Adobe Express. Now I'm going to go ahead and click next. It's going to ask me to name my brand. I'm just going to call it TWP for Terry White Photography. Let's go ahead and create that brand. And uh, once it's created, again, you can add more logos, more colors, more fonts, and um, just continue to build it. But I'm going to go ahead and use it. So I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to create an Instagram story here. And since I said Instagram story without a template, it's going to be blank. But that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and click my text. Uh, let's go ahead and add some text. And I'm just going to say, uh, this is cool. Now, that green is not my color. That white background is not my color. If I go over to design and I choose that new brand that we just told it to use, TWP, switch brand, and then I click, I can instantly change this to my branded look. It's got my colors, it's got my font, and it's got my logo. All I need to do now is add whatever photos or anything else I want. So that's creating your own brand in Adobe Express to make it your own when you create your own social content. Cheers, folks.